So, like, I want to feel bad for Jess. I do. I want to feel bad for Jessica. But I also feel like this is kind of what you did to Liberty. The way you get them is the way you lose them. So, you kind of low-key. Actually, no. Did she? I don't think she did anything underhanded to Liberty. I don't know. Let me think about it while we get to the end of the review. <laughs> Let me think about it. Okay. Um, Love Violent Games, season one, episode 11. Episode 10 was like the unseen bits. I didn't watch that. I haven't had time to. But thank you to everybody. I have gotten to 19,000 subscribers. So a huge thank you to each and every one of you that watches, comments, shares, um, likes the video, all that type of stuff. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know my goal has been to get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So fingers crossed we can get there. Also, some of y'all have been trying me in the comments. I will respond just an FYI. I respond to people in the comments. If you do not want a response, don't leave a comment. Very simple stuff here. I'm a, I'm a content creator. I respond to people in my comments. All right. So all right, let's start off with Imani and Ray. So, you know, we're coming down. We're coming down from uh, the very dramatic Toby and Georgia exit where everybody cried. And <clears throat> some of y'all were in the comments mad that I am irritated by the crying because it's a competition. I think the crying was unwarranted. I said what I said in the video. <laughs> Why are you crying over a competition game? I understand these people have built bonds. I understand they're hanging out together. I get all that. But these people, like, it's not like you will never see them again. That is my point. That's my point. Like I said before, this isn't Squid Games. Nobody was going out to be slaughtered. They are going to see these people in about two weeks when the show is over. I think the crying, the sobbing that happened was crazy. I think Ray crying every time anybody leaves is crazy, okay? That's me. That's my opinion. So they now feel like they made the wrong decision. And I feel like Imani has to stop feeling bad every time she makes a decision, right? You're, you, you've been a part of a power couple. So with power comes great responsibility, you have to make a decision. Like you, I just kind of feel like, I don't know. I, I, I understand that this is a game where they're building connections and love. But at the end of the day, it is also a game to win $100,000. And that's the mindset that I would have the entire time. Would I want to find a connection and stuff like that? Sure, I would be completely open to that. But I think my my mindset, the, the forefront of my mind would be this is a competition. So I want Imani, keep your head in the game, sis. Keep your head in the game. Like we we can't second think or, you know, second think. Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. We can't second guess. We can't second guess ourselves and like the decisions we've made. One, because it's over and it's done. And two, that's one, you know, one less coupling towards going there. Do I think that y'all made a decision? Yes, when you should have had Johnny and Jess go and get Callum and Liberty because then you knock out one of the stronger male competitors. But hey, Imani wants them to keep their hearts pure in the process. I said, girl, bye. <laughs> so Megan left the villa for medical reasons. Bull. Bull. I'm not believing that for one second. Megan left that villa because she felt like she had turned into enemy number one. She was starting to be seen as a villain. And I feel like Megan couldn't take the heat. What is the medical emergency? What was it? What was the reason? Nobody knew. It's not like anybody would say, oh, yeah, Megan left because, you know, she done got the flu or she got the shit. So, you know, something like that. What is the reason for Megan leaving? I know y'all are going to find out. Y'all, please let me know down below. So there's a backyard boogie tonight. And I thought that that was the end of the day. You know, we had been out there so long, you know, doing the duel. But there's a backyard boogie. So it's a pool party. So we get a conversation with Justine and Jack. And I know, like I've said before, y'all, I understand that 
She has the PTSD from the relationship. I don't have to watch the season to understand that she's hurt from it and he played her and all that stuff. Y'all told the story to me in the comments, which I appreciate because everybody's telling the story the exact same way. So I know that nobody is like um, embellishing the story. But like I've said before, too, it's still self-sabotage. Whether, you know, she is experiencing PTSD from this or she's very guarded, it still is coming across as self-sabotage. So she finally tells Jack that she's catching feelings for him. And Jack is like, I feel how you feel. And to me, that came across very disingenuous. Because I feel like if I tell somebody I'm starting to catch feelings for you, I feel like the best response is I'm starting to catch feelings for you too. Maybe a hug, maybe a kiss. Jack was just like, yeah, I feel how you feel. Jack then immediately goes into saying that he's worried about how things are going to work outside of the villa because she's in LA and he's overseas. I don't know. Something about it. I, uh, do I think he's playing her? No, I don't. But do I think that Jack is in this coupling and thinking of like a long-term relationship with Imani? No. And I think it's no, because realistically and logistically, when you have people that are on two different continents, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's just not. It's not the same as her being from LA matching up with somebody from Texas or somebody from New York where, you know, you guys can make it work. But distance be damned. But a, a different continent, I just, I don't see that. I don't, I don't see it happening, but we'll see. So we then get the three new bombshells, and it's Courtney from US season four, Mike from US, Mike from UK season six. Mike is big fine too. That is a handsome man right there. And then we have Carrington, love the name, from US season two. And I said, why is there so many people from the U.S. season two? <laughs> that must have been like a very popular season because now it's four of them up in there. And who knows who else is going to come? So Carrington comes in and said that he dated around on a dating show, did what he was supposed to do. And he got called a player. So, but now he wants the best of both worlds. He wants to win the competition, win the challenges, you know, get to the bag. But he also hopes to find love or find somebody there. Courtney's teeth were distracting. I don't know who did those veneers, but they were horrifically done. They were horrifically done. Then on top of that, her voice is so jarring. Oh, God. We we can't have her stay on here for too long because that, that voice... <laughs> We can't have her stay on for too long. That is nails on the chalkboard. So they're all sitting around talking and Sally yells out, who are you guys all interested in? Jack follows up and says, kiss who you're interested in. I said, Jack, why would you say that? <laughs> when you got black girl magic on your arm and you think this, this, uh, this black man is not going to kiss her. So at, on cue, Mike kisses Justine. Uh, Justine said in her confessional that Jack's kiss is better because there's nothing better than a kiss that has feelings behind it. And I agree. I agree. Um, so I'm not going to fault her for that. Carrington kisses Kira. Kira says she ain't been kissed like this. Oh my God, my back is hurting. Oh Lord, let me try to get comfortable. Kira, um... Kira said that she has not been kissed like this since being in the villa. So she's excited about that. Courtney kisses Jack. Mike then kisses Imani. Ray gets offended. I don't want to say that Ray is, is sensitive, but Ray is sensitive. Like, I just feel like the way that Ray moved this entire episode got on my nerves. It really did. The way that Ray moved the entire episode got on my nerves. Like, at the end of the day, everybody is still open, right? Because everybody is open, people are going to kiss. I just feel like, Ray, like, is it is it self-esteem? Is that what's lacking? Because anybody that so much as glances at Imani, he's ready to, like, fold himself up into a ball and cry about it. And I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
So um, Sally yells out, the list play spin the bottle. I said, okay. Everybody kissing. Everyone's kissing everyone else. People are manipulating the game, moving the bottles to face them. And Johnny and Courtney kiss. It was a lot. Because it was a kiss. Then it was, okay, let's reposition ourselves. Let me pick you up. And then they continue kissing. And, of course, Jess is mad. Of course she is. Of course. Was the kiss a little too much? Maybe. I'm sorry, y'all, if the, if the mic is. I just... <sighs> this is probably why I should edit. <laughs> but I don't edit anything. Okay. So, um, Jess is of course upset about this and is, is, I feel like it's getting to the point now that I don't understand why it's not even funny anymore. It's starting to be concerning why Jess does not understand that Johnny is going to kiss other people. I don't, un I don't know why Jess doesn't understand that Johnny is going to find other people attractive and the girls coming in are going to find him attractive. It's not, it, it says nothing about you. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that you're an unattractive girl. It doesn't mean that these other women are better than you, but he's going to find other women attractive. The same way that when he was with Liberty and he was coupled with Liberty, um, and when he was coupled with Imani, or when he was entertaining Liberty, I should say, and he was coupled with um, Imani for that little bit, you had no regard for how they might have felt about him and you were very focused on Johnny and being upset that nobody gave you a chance to go ahead and talk to Johnny. So, like, I'm just, I'm super tired of Jess. T super tired of her. Like, let's use some common sense about this. You cannot get mad every time this man kisses someone else in a game. This is silly. This is just not the show for her. So, Sally and Justine are trying to talk up Carrington to Kira, saying that he's a really good guy, and he's matured so much from your season, and you can trust us, because we would not send you off, sis. So, Carrington and Kira talk the next day. He tells her that the kiss was good, because they had good kissing vibes. He said they kissed similar, which, even though that conversation sounded wild, that's so true. There is nothing worse than kissing somebody that doesn't have kissing chemistry with you either this person is like using too much tongue or not enough tongue or you guys are you know you're clashing and your teeth are clicking like you want to have good kissing chemistry with somebody so they start talking about their heritage he said he is puerto rican um he was born in germany or he's part Puerto Rican. He was born in Germany, cannot speak German. She said that she's Russian and her dad is just black. I said, girl, don't say just black. Your dad is black. Don't say just as if it's boring. Um, then they start talking about zodiac signs. And no, they don't. I'm sorry. Kira comes in. Um, I'm sorry. Courtney comes in and pulls Kira. I combine the notes. Courtney comes in and pulls Kira and she's telling her that she has dated um, girls before and Kira's like dated, dated girlfriend or like, how did that work? And she said, no, actual girlfriends. Um, her last girlfriend was when she was 21. She's now currently 25. K uh, Kira says she's 26. Kira then says that then this is when they start talking about Zodiacs. Somehow Courtney says that Kira is an Aries she was like, no, I'm a Pisces. Uh, Courtney is a Sagittarius. So we all know, if you guys know a Sagittarius, they're very loud, energetic, outgoing, bubbly people. Kira said because she's a Pisces, which my mom is a Pisces, they're very more reserved, low, you know, low maintenance, chill people. Like they don't do too, too much, right? So they're having this good conversation. And then next thing we know, Courtney is like, I've been waiting for the perfect time to do this. And Kira was like, do what? And she leans forward and kisses her. And I said, oh, that escalated very quickly. But okay. Okay, Courtney, go for it. So we then see Mike and Justine. So they go up to Soul Ties. And Justine said that she's right now just in a very career-driven mindset. But she does want to meet her person. So Mike said that on his season, he was very immature. 
And the first time he did the experience, he feels that he didn't really take advantage of the opportunities that he should have. So right now he wants to be a man, not beat around the bush. And he wants to, you know, put it all out there. So he tells her that there was something behind their kiss. It was good. There was something to it. He lets her know that you are my number one. It's crazy because Justine is like, yeah, it was something to the kiss too. When you sat up in the confessional and said that it wasn't. So downstairs, Sally's instigating. Um, Jack is a little frazzled, but he said that he trusts her because they just had this conversation and he trusts her um, to like, I guess, not cheat on him. Love Island version of cheating. So we then see Callum and Courtney are talking and Callum is so, uh, he's so geeked to talk to somebody other than Liberty. <laughs> he is so excited to talk to somebody other than Liberty. Um, so he asked her, how was she athletic wise? And she's like, um, I can be athletic. She says she's not very competitive, but naturally, but she can pull it out of her. He then turns around and said, oh, I thought you were just dizzy. I said, okay, so we know she's not going to um, couple up with you, so we can just move past this conversation. Why you call that girl dizzy? That's not a compliment. Nobody wants to be told, oh, I thought you were just dizzy. That's not a compliment in the least. Um, we then see Mike and Imani talk. So they're talking about personal things initially. She's a... Um, She's a caregiver. She works at a like an adult home care caregiver type situation. He is a police officer. Then they get right to talking about the games. After they talk about the games, Mike tells her, I think Ray is threatened by me. He said that he doesn't care about Mike's feelings. He's going to do what he wants. He's going to go after what he wants. And Armani is like, oh shit. Okay. Okay. And we have seen Ray kind of like moping. And I'm going to say moping loosely, but we've seen Ray kind of moping around, soaking around the entire time. So we then get Johnny and Courtney. Jessica is annoyed right away. Before Johnny even goes and talks to Courtney, um, he was talking to Jessica and told her that he was going to talk to Courtney. So it's not like he did it backhandedly. He didn't do it like behind her back he told her so he goes and pulls Courtney of course Jessica gets annoyed right away Johnny tells her that he's been with Jess but it's missing a physical spark now I'll say this I will say this um people can say what they want about Johnny and I get he's a terrible guy for what he did he was terrible in his relationship with Sally absolutely according to what y'all said um but I don't know why Jessica thinks that there is a physical spark with him. I feel like when you look at the two of them, he does the bare minimum when it comes to like physicality with her. We don't see them like, you know, spooning or cuddled up the same way that we see like Jack and Justine. We don't really see them kissing the way that we'll see like Sally and EL kiss. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like they're there and she's just a warm body next to him. So when he said, when he tells Courtney that he's missing the physical spark with Jessica, I believed him because I don't think he's lying about that. There's no physical spark to be real. So Johnny then tells her that he has been waiting on her to get there. Not necessarily her uh, specifically, but someone like her. And I said, yeah. <laughs> that is going to backfire that's going to come back so jessica is talking to liberty and it's saying that she doesn't want to admit that she does really like johnny and she's tired of feeling unwanted here's the thing i feel like far too often we see women on tv on these reality shows not want to admit that to a guy that they really like them that they're really into them and when you have that type of scenario, you get Johnny who might not know how much Jessica likes him. He might, he might. But when you have somebody saying, I don't want to admit that I like him, that means that Jessica is not relaying that to him. Now, 
on the flip, she said that they're, you know, cuddling at night and holding hands and all that type of stuff. You're a warm body to him, sis. And I need, I think Jessica needs to kind of pick up on context clues and read context clues and not just feel as if, oh, because we're doing, like, we're going through the motions at night that he really, really likes me. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. That was just weird to me. So, but she's tired of feeling unwanted. You're not, feel. I can't tell somebody how to feel, but I don't think he's making you feel unwanted by talking to a bombshell that came in. So that, and like, what I mean by that is I don't think he's doing it on purpose to make her feel unwanted. I think the whole notion of combining the games with the love is just confusing emotionally for a lot of people and Jessica is thinking solely with emotion on finding love whereas Johnny clearly came in solely to get the money so we then have Jess and Johnny talk again Jess tells him that she's confused if he really likes her because he always wants to go talk to a bombshell when they come in. He was like, so you think that I don't like you because I talk to other people in here? And Johnny always says things very, it's like he says things back to you and he makes it sound so condescending. So and she's like, well, of course. He tells her that he's open until he says he's not. And I feel like, again, that's a fact. You're open until you're not in there. And I think that so many of these people are just not getting that, right? So he tells her that he's been moving very respectful and very transparent. He's been telling her everything, which is true as well, which is true as well. It's not like Johnny is sneaking and dipping and and ducking, doing stuff. He's telling her every step of the way. The real issue is that Jessica, instead of her seeing it for what it is and maybe trying to talk to some other guys in there, she, um... It's just like falling, chasing after Johnny, to be real. She's chasing after Johnny. So we see them stop talking. Their their chat is over. And Johnny pulls Courtney again right away. I said, I'll be damned. So Jess goes over. She's talking to Ray, Jack, and Justine about how Johnny wants to always go talk to other girls. And it makes her feel unwanted. And now she is crying. This is a valid reason to cry, right? This is a valid reason to cry. So, Courtney gets a text that there's going to be a recoupling that is coming tonight during the Backyard Boogie. So, the bombshells are going to pick first, and then the girls are going to be able to pick the guys. So, Imani goes and tries to talk to Ray, and she's like, we haven't really talked on today. And he's like, yeah, I've been waiting for you to pull me. And I said, oh, I see what type of time you on right now, sir. Okay, cool. So Ray is threatened by Mike. And instead of Ray reassuring Armani that he's still into her and that he's not phased by that, he is going to take it out on her. So she's like, are you mad at me? Like, what's good? You know, are you trying to process? And he's like, I'm chilling. You know, I'm chilling. I'm chilling, chilling chilling and it's like no sir you're bothered you're bothered you're bothered you're bothered so she's like so what does that mean you're trying to process and he's like yeah I guess I don't know and I'm like why are you being an ass to her when she hasn't done anything wrong or for you to get in the confessional and say that she didn't do anything wrong. You're not mad at her. You're just upset with the entire situation. So what does it help? What does it prove knowing that she could be getting, you know, knowing that she could be recoupled with somebody for you to treat her like that right before. So during the recoupling, the bombshells pick first and Carrington picks Kara, which was not a surprise. Mike picks Imani. I thought he was going to pick Justine, but Mike picked Imani. Um, Ray looks salty. He's over there. I don't care. It's cool. It's cool. And it's like, if you're upset about it, you're upset about it. Because we saw that you were like in shambles when Johnny got to, you know, pair up with Imani. I don't think I like Ray anymore. I was tolerating him from the Beijing, you know, being there. But like, I feel like the way he's been moving, especially tonight, Okay, 
So then Courtney stands up to give her speech and she's like, this guy made me feel welcome and he told me that he was waiting for me to walk through the door and I said, jeez. And she picks Johnny and of course, who's mad? Jess is mad. And that was kind of the end of the episode and I feel like, honestly, I think Jess is going to couple up with Callum out of spite next no who is it who do y'all think Jess is gonna pick to couple up with I feel like she gonna do some snake shit so I'm assuming Sally's gonna go with EL Justine with Jack Liberty Liberty's gonna pick Callum he's gonna have a fit and that leaves no somebody's missing right no, that's it. Or Jess is going to end up being single. Unless, like, I'm missing somebody that I'm just not thinking of. Let me know what you guys think thought about tonight's episode. Let me know who you guys think is going to pair up. It's going to be something shocking. But I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like Jess is going to partner up with Ray. I feel like Jess is going to pick Ray. I don't know. Let's talk about it down below. If you have not already, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.